It's amazing how far something as simple as a customized invoice can go to making your store look that much more professional and making a better impression on your customer. So let's head inside the Shopify app and look exactly at how to use the Order Printer Pro app. So let's take a look at the pricing structure for Print Order Pro. Now, as you can see, they do offer a plan that's entirely free if you are under 50 orders per month. And this plan includes everything you need uh, from sending invoices, you can insert a PDF into your Shopify emails to printing documents in bulk if you wanted to print, let's say, print slips for your orders. Now, if you are selling more than 50 orders per month, then you do have to pay $10 per month for the print order pro monthly plan. And this is 100% worth it in my opinion. So let's go ahead and head into the Shopify app. And I want to show you guys a couple of the features with the Print Order Pro app. So as you can see, we're here in the Manage Templates section where we can set up our invoices that we can automatically add uh, in PDF format to our Shopify emails. So if we go over here to Automated PDFs, that's where we would set that up uh, to insert into our email section. But let's head back to the Manage Templates and take a quick look at how to edit the template for a receipt or invoice. And this is really simple. Now, as you can see, a lot of this is in code. so you will have to use HTML and CSS to update it, but there's really only a couple updates that you even need to make. And in my opinion, uh, all you really need to do is you can actually use the pre-built template. As you can see, it looks nice. And in my case, uh, the store name is actually spelt wrong because I updated that wrong in Shopify. But what I would do is I would just change this over to my logo right here. And now I have a custom logo on my invoice that I can send out in every email. And so if we head back over to manage templates, there's a couple other useful templates that we may or may not want to use. And packing slips is one of them. It's really cool to add just a custom insert to our shipping boxes when we ship our orders out to customers. And another uh, couple cool templates that we have are the returns form and the refund credit note. So if we are uh, having customers returning orders, then it helps to print something out. And using these templates is going to go a very long ways to making our store look professional and just creating that user experience when people are shopping at our store that's going to bring us returning customers and bring us more customers down the road. So this is a very useful app that I recommend everyone using. Um, whether you're doing 50 orders or not, if you're not doing 50 orders, then having an app like this is actually going to help you grow that store to a point where you are doing more orders because uh, your basic Shopify store isn't going to provide the customer experience uh, that something like a Shopify store with this app is going to have. Uh, really just printing out these pieces of paper and even sending the PDFs with Shopify emails is going to go just a long ways. I can't emphasize that enough. So let's take a look at one other quick feature and that is how to set up the automated PDFs. And we're gonna do an example with invoices because this is the most common reason to use the app. So as you can see, it's a very simple, straightforward process and we can set up uh, what the PDF paper size looks like for those invoices, uh, how to add the PDF link, and we're gonna add it just to our shipping confirmation e email, which is automatically sent out by Shopify as soon as our order is shipped. And if we scroll down here, we can see exactly what that's gonna look like. We have here the order confirmation email that's sent out and it includes a new link right here to download our PDF receipt. And this is all we really need to do to get started sending out those invoices to our customers and just showing our customers that we are a step above the average Shopify store that's not going to have an invoice receipt, uh, which is really necessary to running any kind of store. You do need to invoice for your customers. They appreciate this and they will return back for more orders if you can show them that you are a legitimate store and a professional store.